winning X Games, I don't think anything's like almost ever going to compare to that. That's kind of the plan for now. Probably train in Colorado as well. I want to compete the Dew Tours and X Games and Euro X Games and hopefully film a lot more than I did last year. I definitely want to get in a movie or two. That'd be sweet. Let's see what she got. Bumping music right now. There's the dropping. I was coming into Winter X14 just super nervous but excited. Um, the night before I'd heard TJ, you know, TJ of all people going, oh man, these jumps are huge. And I was just like tripping, man. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm feeling so relieved right now. So uh, what's going through your mind right now? You got anything else for the last run? Uh, might as well just go over the money, I guess. We'll see. Oh, 540 over the cannon box. It was awesome to see my parents there, you know, like, they knew how bad I wanted this and how much I'd worked and um, it was really cool that they could be there. You know, I'd talked about it my whole life, basically claiming since I was nine years old that I was going to win X Games one year. Just talking so much crap and my brother was always like, yeah, you know, whatever. And I was just like, man, you'll see, you'll see. Let's hear it with a 96.66 for Kaya Tursky. Well, after X Games, um, I headed back to Mammoth, got a call from Friedel at level one, and we went out to shoot some backcountry, or trying to shoot some backcountry. <laughs> got a little taste. You know, I tried my first backcountry booters, built backcountry booters, it's a pretty crazy experience. And then after that, Europe. Last run and Ting um, landed a little off forward and just hurt my knee. You know, everyone was like, oh my God. It was just like, holy crap. Like, everyone's just like patting me on the shoulder. I don't even know what the hell's going on. Cause like, I'm just like, oh my God. I feel like I just really messed up my knee, you know? And I had so much planned after that. I really wanted to get some shots with level one in the park. Maybe even try some more backcountry. Luckily, um, I did get to shoot with level one early season. We had an Orage slash level one urban shoot here in Montreal. That was probably like the second or third urban I've ever done in my life. So it was kind of intimidating at first, you know, going with like the two like master urbaneers or whatever you'll call them, like Phil and JF, but those guys were like awesome. They needed me to show them what was up. So, so that's what I did. Basically just guineaed every feature for them because they just never wanted to try it first and showed them what was up and... <laughs> So let the truth be told, my words drop heavy like old bricks, cold spit your new hits, soon to be old, and when I stand up, the world puts their hands up, I go off on a tantrum and jam like handguns, then I let the hammer fall, cause after all, trust me, you do not want to get hit by the catapult, let alone the cannonball, drop that, it had to fall, I'm here to pick it up and fix it while I damage y'all, board up the windows and get to the floor, you've never weathered the storm. So uh, yeah, we spent the first five days, four or five days in Montreal. I got to hit this this cool roof rail that I had done a couple years back on my rollerblades. So it's kind of cool to go back and, and do that and got blind two out, so that was sweet. Oh my god, there's no freaking way I'm gonna touch this thing. <laughs> I guess it doesn't look that crazy, but I was just like, I saw it and I was like, man, there's absolutely no way I can do this thing. Like, And then midnight hit, and so it was 2010, and I thought to myself, you know, there's no way I'm gonna start the year like backing out on this. I got to at least try it, you know, and because I'm just going to regret this and it's just going to be a bad start to the year. It was damn scary, but I'm stoked I did. Also got to 
Got to have a session with JP Eau Claire, which is pretty cool. First time actually skiing with him, I think. Ah, what is that? Oh, it's a step. Well then, no dip here. Dropping! Whoa. We're just testing right now. Really? Oh, how just one, man? The railing, you know, basically that building dropped down a, a couple stories, so it's kind of a little sketchy. This is so fucking sketchy. I don't know what JV was saying. Hey, Gaia, do just just go in, just go in. The speed is okay. I'm like, no, dude, it's like super sketchy. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Yeah, that might be good. You see that thing right there? I gotta make sure I get past it, and then I'm all good. Just just do it. Just 270 off. What are you gonna do? Well, I want to get a tail press, a nice tail press. What, what do you mean? I would just do two off. It's super easy. <laughs> Did you see my pathetic pulling in? My poles are a little little. Dang it! <laughs> All day. Next year, hopefully, it's a little more challenging. Don't use that, that was ridiculous.